send a request and then uh, Tamara can accept it. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, but but Shauna, this is no joke. It's like, and one of the things that we need to talk about, like attorney, right? Most attorney, all all they, this is what they know to do. They can go into the court to argue case law, right? But yeah. They don't know the music business. They don't know how the music business operates. Some of them don't know. They don't Listen, know. Listen, majority of them... The request. Come on, look at this to the request. Hold on. Let me see. Um, Jamaica Copyright Office. Copyright is sung in the United States. Copyright the Library Office. of Congress. Who's talking about Jamaica Cup? Who's talking about? No, Jamaica somebody's Cup? saying if you want to research them, they can research them if they want. But I'm just thinking that it would be better since the song be released internationally to register to copyright the song in the United States in the Library of Congress. I would recommend everyone who create music to register their music in the United States of in the United States of America because that's the way that's the way out to go. I mean, right? you could do it. Maybe you could do it in both. Right? Can you uh, do both? No. Jamaica is too curved for me know. to give too much. I'd have to ask I, a lie about that. I will never, I will never copyright my work in Jamaica because the, the copyright law in Jamaica is is Don't is for politicians. The, 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 the it's, it's for politicians and media people. If our copyright law um amend and fix, politicians can just use our song like that, and all these people. So the law in Jamaica is not for musicians. It's not for, it's not you know because people you like mean not for creators. It's not for creators, and it's not, it's, and it, and it is, and it is not really for even artists. They, they kind of make it maybe for the older producer. Seriously, it's no joke. It is, uh, it is biased against artists. The corporate law in Jamaica, it is, it is biased against Look artists. Look at the request from from Vegas, man. Let me let me say before I, it's Mr. Vegas, right? That's what. It, hold on, remember. Look, it's trying to remember say you know, on a, or with a sabi panda. <laughs> <laughs> look at the seed. Um, but you know what the next thing to Kemar you see we need to you see our you see our people mm, and everybody are gonna come and be in agreement with them because I remember say our people mix up in a certain way is like you know them take alliance and them have them cliques and them groups and whatever you know so yeah but, and I still but, like to um, say that that whenever your everything that you stated is facts and I'm a, I'm a mix up and no. hear your ear say this no. is from mm -mm. your experience in a federal court. So I feel like say everybody else who come on with some little weird comment and then something them thing say like this isn't a platform for it and if you have something else to say that doesn't relate to what we're speaking about maybe i can say it at your own time at somewhere else yeah we, we can we, me, me, ups, me upset me, me tell me say me upset it me or maybe him. yeah maybe him is no longer there me upset him me <sighs> I um, I just, just did. Um, Maybe it took it too long. <laughs> no man, it, 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 it is there, but I upset it. Hold on. I, 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 I had him to join. But yeah, but but as Mister Shana, any any anybody want to? Yeah, yeah, it looked like um, it looked like Mr. Vegas um in, in, is not in um, there, in the Yeah, yeah, in my gun. Maybe yeah, but <laughs> mm hmm I mean, just figure it out. Maybe, yeah, but 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 seriously, on a serious see note, see um, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Adam, see that? Eh? He's there. Vegas, what's on? Where are you? Oh, 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 the G, 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 the
several me a battle with VP and it forced me to go study music law and all of that, right? And there's so much of me know about the music, I kind of like to stay away from it because I know, me know that when it comes to like the copyright law and, and laws, what producer, what producer and artist have. All right. One other thing about it to even with producer, producer will never like this. Producer will hate this. And it goes for reggae music and hear every producer can hear this. All right. When a producer and an artist do not have a signed agreement and you go to a court with a record label, this is what the court do. The court going to say, hey, because Cameron and Mr. Vegas do have an agreement together, the court is going to rule that the record are jointly owned by the two parties. A lot of record, a lot of producer are gonna hate that, right? But it's reality. But next thing, when a producer record a song in a Jamaica and the song release outside of Jamaica, especially in America, once the song touch America style, this is what it requires. The producer and the artist consent to release the song, which means that. If we listen the songs to Warner Music, Warner Music is okay, we get, the, we get Kemar permission. It is in Warner Music's best interest to reach out to Mr. Vegas Just as an artist to say, hey, we have licensed the song from Kemar, we need to get your, um, your permission, etc., whatever. So if they pay Kemar 10 grand, Mr. Vegas should get 10 grand. That's straight up. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what's supposed to happen. If the company copyright the song the song is supposed to be copyright only if we give them the permission to copyright it it should be copyright on behalf of mr vegas and kemar mcgregor that's it if that song is copyright in the u.s you can sue a company anywhere in the world they are anywhere you can sue a company and drag them into the United States of America. If a company in Jamaica who uses a song in a commercial wants it copyright in America, you can sue them. So this is why I was, I was so upset when Ethan talked about them conference. Fuck that, because they're not telling, teaching creators and telling creators how to protect their intellectual property. Jamaica copyright law is, is for producers and and and, the, and 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 Jamaica media, that's what Jamaica copyright law is. It's not for it's not for artists. So this is why companies companies like VP Records who know what Jamaica law is, what they do, they use that argument in the court. But if the artist copyright is work in the United States, that don't apply for you. Because the federal court and the United States government have jurisdiction over you, not Jamaica. So you can't apply that. To the title, right? You can't apply that to Mr. Vegas. You can't apply that to me because you're you're talking about Jamaica law here. Guess what? My son copyright in America, so this federal court have jurisdiction over me for try you for infringe on my work. But the problem is, producer. A lot of producers who know Jamaica law, them keep it, them just release a song and them can operate on a Jamaica law, in a Jamaica. But once a record company release it outside of Jamaica, that's, you can't use, you can't apply Jamaica law. You can't apply Jamaica law. Just like if, if Mr. Vegas go to the copyright office now and then put in what I'm saying, even me go to the copyright office and put in my song. You know what it said? Work for Aya. My song, you said me, work, me I work for you. But then you are sending me a statement. You are contradict. So guess what? I tell you this, Mr. Vegas. I just talk it on about it. In 2008, they, they amend the copyright law in America. And the reason why they do that is for because what record label do, record label um, copyright um, artists work into their name. And the federal court, but then they more just look at argument and not. At the copyright. So Congress mend the law, mend the law 
in 2000, um, 2008 is, is, I think, is the 411, Section 411. So what it says, right? This is how them food. This is how the, the fraud prove. Come to Vegas, you have somebody claim to an eternal claim. The whole regular industry will be claimed. So this is what the law says. If a company misrepresent, misrepresent on the copyright, what are their claim, right? That copyright then becomes invalid. So which means that if me and you in a court a fight for copyright infringement or we are fight for royalties, all you do is look on the judge and say, but Your Honor, they commit fraud on the copyright. We're here in the court arguing over royalties, but the copyright in the, in the copyright registration in the Library of Congress says work for hire. That doesn't make sense. So therefore, the judge going to request that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Repeat that for me. Okay. So what I'm saying, if I'm in court with a record label, right, and we're, 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 we're fighting over what royalties I'm entitled for, or you, or the record company are saying that um, they get the rights from another producer, etc. right? All you have to do is just search for that copyright. And you got to say to the judge, this company commit a fraud on the copyright and they infringe on my copyright. Hear why? We're in the court debating that they owe me royalties, but they lift their right hand in the on the Library of Congress and swear that they control Edzai by a work for our agreement. Why the hell are you and them in court talking about royalties when you when it's a work for hire? What if you what if you're in court to get a share of your master? Like what if you believe that you're a co-owner to the master? Not if believe, you believe that you're a co-owner of the No, no, but guess what? Without without you without we talk about the master, your lyrics are in body in the song recording master automatically. 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 You know. You're involved. You can't make you take your voice out of it. You cannot take the lyrics out of it. Automatically, you own half of the copyright. Boom. <laughs> there goes there goes my contention. <laughs> I've been saying this. I've been saying this for 25 years, bro. Or uh, 23 years. When I entered the business. When I, when I started working with Green Seeds, and you know, when you're just coming out of business, you're really rusty and you're really you know, cognizant of the, 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 mm -hmm. the thing. Then. Mm -hmm. So I've been asking these questions over the years. I'm like, yo, um, why am I not a co-owner to the master? I've been asking these questions, you know, even before Green Sleeves, you know, was sold to VP. So what I used to do is, um, I used to go to the producers, they must say, listen, if you are going to be selling the record and you're not giving me any royalties, at least me want to use the record as well because I know that I co-own, I have, have ownership on this, this piece because you can't separate. If, if Take me off the piece, then I'm going to sell the rhythm by yourself. Can't separate it. So I've been, I've been pushing back at this and I spoke, I heard people I heard of, I never really, you know, directly speak to Stanberry. I used to manage Steely and Cleavy, right? I think. And I heard that people like Stanbury, they were basically claiming, right, and the copyright, they claim that the copyright law in Jamaica states that the person that produced, that, bring, that paid for the studio time, owned the tape, um, etc. at the studio, they were um, the owner for the master. They control the master. See? So I've been asking all this time. What, like, so what, what, what about what about what about the copyright to the lyrics, which is embodied in the master? 
No, they're claiming that the copyright is a separate issue from the sound recording. Yeah, but that but, is what they're claiming. But it's but it's very hard for you to separate the two. We know that we the people them know yeah echo what we are saying. Right? To separate the two. It's so what they've been doing is over the years, over before even me coming out of the business, before before we born, they have been claiming that they have the right, the producers them have the right to take the work and exploit it or give it to a company out of outside of Jamaica to exploit it. Now let's say, let's 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 be let's let's be the idiots. Let's say they said it's the law in Jamaica, as what you said earlier on. I just joined, I heard you talking about it. Let's say this is the law in Jamaica. How you remove it from this jurisdiction to another jurisdiction and I give me the same law? Cannot. Me say <laughs> never. Question. But watch this now. <laughs> watch this now. When people like VP them and Jetstar them take your work from a producer in Jamaica and exploit it internationally, they are basically pointing back the finger and say, oh, Go to the producer. But as you said, you can't send me to the producer after you take my work. Is you are exploit my work. Why didn't you take from the producer his portion? Correct. Your image, your likeness, co your correct. voice, you your understand? lyrics, co everything. Because co the producer... That is the contention, you know. And the people are making it out. The producer cannot give... But here is the, the problem now, brothers and sisters. Mm. Brother sister. They know that. A lot of these artists, them now go fight the battle with the five and the six and the seven and the eight and the nine lawyers. But like you know, we take the time out and do the research. Like me know, we have take the time out to do the research. You understand what I say? So, me cannot see how, in the case of a VP, let's say they own Chris Martin now. Right? Chris Martin's songs were produced in Jamaica by, say, a Chrome. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the jurisdiction in Jamaica. Them, them say Chrome owns the master. Okay. Right? According to them, them claim the copyright law because them say I'm paid for the two the studio time. I'm on the tape and all of them things there. Even though in this area we don't use tapes and them things there no more. You see? And a man not paying the studio time, he said the rhythm come get your record. Right? I'm going to tell you something. You see, all right. You see the well, way I'm, just, let, 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 let me finish this point. Yeah. So, they will tell you now, a Jamaican producer came out. If you produce Chris Martin now, they're going to tell you that you have no rights to Chris Martin in the jurisdiction where they might try to make the law applicable to what they're doing. Right. So, why is it that the only, you, you only bought Chris Martin, you know? You bought his. Him as a person, and you know what represent. You are now Chris Martin, but you buy him from the plantation. You bought Chris Martin from the plantation. Exactly. We the bad slave. We the bad slave them from the plantation. We said no. We don't want to be owned by you. The same way how you are protecting Chris Martin's right. Why is it I cannot protect my rights? Yes, sir, man. Say because <laughs> you remove it out of the jurisdiction where you claim, sir. The producer is responsible or own the master, you know. But now you take it to another and you are telling the producer them in this jurisdiction that them don't have no rights to it. How how comes? No. It's oh. applicable to me, but it's not applicable to your, your artist them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's, all right. Let me tell you something. The reason why VP them operate like that, because they know that the Jamaican government complicit and the law, them keep the law that we have for them. Right? Because you know the law fix, them can't use the song them from campaign. The TV, them can't use the song them in a commercial. The radio, them can't run a song. Rising star, them can't make artists perform with song them. Because we have to get compensated. So them keep that old water down law, which is one-sided. But stick up in. So the line is, when Mr. Vegas gone, so the line is, if you, you, if, if you want to keep this song out, like you might say, Christopher Martin own, is an example we are use and a Christopher Martin business. So let me just mm. say an artist then. The artist is owned by the company. And you produce the artist as a producer. So the line where them get the producer is now, if you want to keep the music out, 
you have to give it over to we. No, 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 no. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Me going to court. Hold on. Before you finish, I said this for a purpose. Yeah. So the line with them say, now you have to give me the record. And we are going to pay you a work for I give you a work for I agreement. You are going to sign it and we are going to pay you. And then you can keep the song up. But you say, make sure say, you don't use this for nothing else because it becomes ours now. Okay. But, 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 but my, 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 my thing is, right? How can a record label like VP themselves? Um, I read something about what the producer called, not nice or something like that? Right. Uh, uh, something about spies. All right. I'm going to read that. Law. Let me tell you something. How can a record label send you a producer agreement for a song that already exists and produce, right? And then claim that you produce that song, that song for them when the song already produced and out there. But anyway, that, that don't make any sense. When I was in it court does. with... It does. It yeah, does. When I was in court with... When I was in court with VP, that same argument came up where VP said to the judge, Oh... Kemar infringe on our artist them because he record our exclusive artist them. So I turned to the judge and I said to the judge, so because I record their exclusive artists, does that give them the rights to steal my work or to take my work? The judge look at them and tell them, your problem is with the artist and not the producer. And if the artist give them the rights, once the artist record upon it and allow it, them have the rights. So any problem you want to have, go to the artist. So that is another thing for producer. When VP them try to pull a stunt up on the, on the producer them, the producer them need to tell them that, say, yo, go to the artist. But producer need to realize that when two people create a work together, it is jointly owned. Jamaica law can never stand up in a no court in, a, in the world. It cannot. This is why you should not think about Jamaica when you're making a music because the law, and again, VP them, VP them cannot apply Jamaica law in a federal court. They cannot do that. They cannot. And, and, excuse me. And that, the, problem with, the problem with this is, and you said something very important that, that I think a lot of artists need to... Um, write that down like when me record what you say mm -hmm. a lot of artists need to write it down the fraudulent part of it registering a work for on behalf of a producer that they did a work for higher wit without any consent from you the, the artist in another jurisdiction it's not like them doing this in jamaica you know <laughs> because I remember say so we don't we, we do not have to first thing if you're it's like what these people are doing. They're dipping here, dipping there, double dipping dip. over there. The court call it double, double dip. dip. Double dip. Right? <laughs> so when it, when it suits them, them draft your piece of the Jamaica law. The Jamaica Copyright Act. When it don't suit them, them draft your piece of, oh, you didn't register the word. You understand? So what is it you're using? Because if you're going to go with the Jamaican Copyright Act, I do not have to register my work. And... What is no no? There's no statute of limitation on the royalties. There's none. What's this again, no brother? What is no? So the, that means uh, if you have my work for 25 years, see? That's why we can't lay down a dead and roll over, you know. Everywhere you go, you're gonna be in problems. You see? And you said something earlier on about the lawyers. You said majority of them do not know what they're doing when we are telling them our issues. They are lost. Because no one, no record company, no laws in the world, no law in the world has this nonsense that is on the books in Jamaica. So the copyright act in Jamaica is rubbish. So even when we are speaking to lawyers, international lawyers that go years, that, 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 that study for years or win cases, major cases, they're, they're confused. They're like, because the law, the copyright act in Jamaica is so... I'm one-sided and nonsensical, brother, that nobody can't understand what's going on. So uh, the people are going to court, and they're like a deer in headline. And, and this is why and, they continue to keep the music conference and have these jams and these fuckery. Pardon my French. But what's this now? 
Jams, I think, is trying to... Because Jams is collecting money, you know. But here, who's Jams is, who, who Jams collecting for? Only the producer at this point, this present that, moment. This is why I said to you, other producers, is bullshit. Pardon my French. Because it, it's, it's one-sided. You understand? If you want but, to fix it, if Jams want to represent... Jams, we talk to me, let me tell him, go to hell. If you want to, if you want to fix it, lobby and let the amend the law to be fair. No, but watch this now, no? watch this again. I want to take a deep look into the history of dancehall and reggae music and look at some of the prominent producers and look at the political affiliation. That, oh, okay. This is why I said to Sean earlier that the law was put in place for the producer them from back then because all of them were affiliated to one party. So Jamaica... <laughs> When Jamaica do something, you know, we, 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 Dutch, and I'm not joking, you know, our law them, when they put them in place, it's a benefit people, you know, don't, don't think it's joke. And this is why VP Records continue to double in Jamaica because the laws in Jamaica protect VP Records. It does. No, no, we don't want to put that out there, brother. <laughs> the law in Jamaica does not protect you from a different jurisdiction. No, no, brother. no, 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 no. No, when I mean, when I mean, when I mean protect them, right? All right, put it this way. And, and when I mean protect them, most of the songs them that they use in Rising Star and they use on the TV, the platform in commercial, are controlled by VP Records, Pro Se, or whatever. Because VP may lie to the artists, etc. So VP know in return, they don't mind that. Because at the end of the day, them sign the producer them, in the money I come, I come, I come out for the producer them 100%. Is that unfair? So any pa. performance them get from the TV or anything or whatever, it come 100% because them are using Jamaica law because them are double dip. So they use the Jamaica law on that the side. The copyright, the quote, the, the, the copyright law. Yes. You see what I say? Yes. But watch this now. Sorry for cut you again, but watch mm. this now because we know what them feel like say, them have a foot in or a finger in or a window in. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Jamaica sign on as a signatory to the Berne Convention. Correct. See? So if you sign on as a signatory to the Berne Conven Convention, we explain the copyright law. We clarified the copyright law. Why is it that the government of Jamaica will come at deep, deep in a dance hall and I tell people what to sing and what not to sing and what to play on the radio? How is it that the Jamaica government now implement the, the, the interpretation so everybody can understand it. But it goes to your point. They want to use the people, them music, you know, them, them copyright, them, 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 them political campaign, them ads them on TV, them commercial on TV. You, hear, you have your hit song, you hear every minute you have somebody a promote a party. Correct. Them use the song to promote the party. Them use and, the, and, all all the, them and, the music. and all of them exclusive hotel that comes that now in Jamaica will just play the song and ride away free and all of that. So, so these things... It's corruption, and the government and people benefit from the corruption. They are like Rebel Salute, Reggae Sound Fest. If the corporate law in Jamaica fix, those companies will have to pay. Pay. Even if they book Mr. Vegas, yeah, they have to pay you, but still pay for public performance. If you just, if you just go, on YouTube, go on Google right now. And you will see that 99.9% .9 of the Jamaican popular artists or major artists, their, their music, right, have been copywritten as work for hire by VP Records. Listen. Listen. We're talking about... Listen, let, let, listen. Let and, me check. And, and, and his assistant sent me that, you know. But listen, See? listen, let me, let me tell you something. All right. And this is why I was, say, I was saying to Itana, and we're going to say it again. The court, the, 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 the court here in the United States, the federal court, they couldn't figure out because record labels used to get away with it, right? And in 2008, they, they amended it because it's very hard for you to um, prove fraud in the U.S. You know, the, or the U.S. going to come out of fraud. It, it right, complicated. right, right. So what Library of Congress did and the U.S. government did to make it clear how to prove fraud and a copyright, they amended the law in 2000, 
in 2008. It's called um, Amended 411. And what it does, it guide the judge, give the judge the, the direction to say, okay, if Mr. Vega says that his work...